क्वेश्चन सिक्स ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज गिवन द लीनियर इक्वेशन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई माइनस एट इक्वल टू जीरो राइट अनदर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स सच दैट द जियोमेट्रिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द पेयर सो फॉर्म्ड इज इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स पैरल लाइन्स और कोइंसिडेंट लाइन्स सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द की आइडिया बिहाइंड हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम Let's take any pair of linear equations, any general pair a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two equal to zero. Now we have seen that there are three possibilities for the lines representing this pair of equations. So let's discuss those three possibilities. so the first possibility is that the lines intersect like this and this will happen if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so in the coefficients if we take the ratios a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 if they are not equal then the two lines will intersect at a unique point or the pair of equations will have a unique solution the second possibility is that the two lines are parallel like this and in this case the system has no solution the pair of equations has no solutions because the lines never intersect and this will happen if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by B two, but both these ratios are not equal to C one by C two. So in this case, the two lines will be parallel. And a third possibility is that the two lines are identical; they are coincident, so they lie on top of one another, or in other words, they are the same line. And this will happen if A one by A two is equal to B one by B two. Is equal to c1 by c2. So all the three ratios are equal. So in this case, the lines will be coincident. So coming back to our original question, we are given a linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0, and we have to write another equation so that the lines corresponding to the pair are uh, intersecting, parallel, or coincident so all we need to do is to write an equation for the second line so that the coefficients of the two lines satisfy these relevant constraints in each part so what i'm saying will become clear as i solve each part so in the first part we have to find another equation so that the lines corresponding to the pair are intersecting so i'm solving the first part now so we have to find another equation so that the lines corresponding to the pair are intersecting now the first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0 and the coefficients of x and y are 2 and 3 and their ratio is 2 by 3 so any equation in which the coefficients of x and y are not in the ratio are not in the same ratio 2 by 3 any such equation will work for example let's take the second equation as x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 in this the coefficients of x and y are 1 and 2 and their ratio is 1 by 2 which is not equal to 2 by 3 so this will work as the second equation and this pair of equations will give us two intersecting lines because if you compare a1 by a2 so a2 is 1 so a1 by a2 is 2 and b1 by b2 is 3 by 2 so a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 are not equal so this equation will work to give us intersecting lines now let's do the second part so in the second part we have to get parallel lines so here we have to find another equation such that its x and y coefficients are in the same ratio as the first equation 
so that a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2. So the first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. And the second equation should, should be such that the, uh, the ratio of the coefficients of x and y are in the same ratio as 2 by 3. So in the first part, we have to find another equation so that the lines corresponding to the pair are intersecting. Now the first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0 and we need to find another equation such that a1 by a2 will not be equal to b1 by b2 because only in that case will the two lines be intersecting at a unique point. So in this first equation, the coefficients of x and y are 2 and 3 and their ratio is 2 by 3. So any equation in which the coefficients of x and y are not in the same ratio 2 by 3 will work. For example, let's take the second equation as x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. Now in this second equation, the coefficients of x and y are 1 and 2. And if I now take the ratio of a1 by a2, so that's 2 by 1 and b1 by b2, that's 3 by 2. So these two ratios are unequal. So 2 by 1 is not equal to 3 by 2. So these two lines will be intersecting. These two equations will give us intersecting lines. So to s solve the first part, you can take any equation such that the ratios of the coefficients of x and y, the ratio is not equal to the ratio of the coefficients in the first equation, which is 2 by 3. So that's how you can solve the first part. Now in the second part, you have to get two parallel lines. So you basically want the second equation to be such that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2. So the first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. And we have to find the sec second equation such that a1 by a2 is not equal is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so what we can do is we can take the second equation such that its x and y coefficients are in the same ratio as the first equation so 2 and 3 so 2 by 3 is the ratio of x and y coefficients in the first equation so let's take the second equation such that the ratio of the coefficients x and y is the same so we can actually take that as 2x plus 3y only because the ratio will be 2 by 3. So a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2. And now let's take the constant term to be some term such that c1 by c2 is not equal to a1 by a2 and b1 by b2. So for example, if I take the constant term as 5, then what do you get? You get a1 by a2 as 2 by 2 which is 1, you get b1 by b2 as 3 by 3, which is 1. So these two are equal, but you get c1 by c2 as minus 8 by 5, which is not equal to the first two ratios. So this pair of equations will give us two parallel lines. Okay, and now let's do the third part. So in the third part, we have to find another equation so that the lines corresponding to the pair are coincident or identical. So the first equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. And we basically want to find another equation such that a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 will all be the same. So if you simply multiply the first equation by any non-zero number, the new coefficients will satisfy this constraint. For example, let's multiply the first equation by 2. So if I do that, let's write what we get as our second equation. So we will get 4x plus 6y minus 16 equal to 0. Now, if you compare the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, you have a1 by a2 as 2 by 4, 
you have b1 by b2 as 3 by 6 both of these are equal to half in the lowest form and you have c1 by c2 as minus 8 by minus 16 and this is also equal to half in the lowest form so all three ratios are equal and hence this pair of equations will give us two coincident lines so that's how you can solve question six to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers